hello and welcome to another youtube video now in this video i'm going to show you how you can steal files from another phone using the ftp service or ftp client so there is this application here the one is the one i'm going to be using you can get this application in the google store um all you have to do is open the app as you can see it shows files from the internal storage and the sd card select one remember this app only sends an ftp of the internal storage so you tap on ftp there then it, it says there's no wi-fi so you want to steal files from this phone this is phone a, a come on so you tap on wi-fi then on phone number two you have to switch on the uh, wi-fi you have to switch on the hotspot on the other phone so here you press on wi-fi yeah on phone one you have to make sure that your hotspot is connected and it's live and as you can see on phone number one you tap on connect it obtains the ip address and here you need to make sure that you have this app installed es file explorer this one right here es file explorer as you can see it has connected on the other side of the common phone you press back and you press on start as ftp so here here you need to make sure that you have this app installed es file explorer this one right here es file explorer as you can see it has connected on the other side of the common phone you press back and you press on start as ftp so here you tap on es file explorer and you open this up it will take some time to load up okay once the app has loaded tap on the three bars up there it opens up a menu normally this menu is like this so you need to tap on network it loads all the network then there is ftp as you see here there's ftp ftp this one right here so tap on that one ah, okay i already have it is i already have it scanned but i'm going to leave it just in case and type on new select ftp so all of the options will land them in the next video so come back to phone one they come on and copy tp server address which was um see was uh one nine two dot six okay they all change on the last digit now you tap on the port it up on the port which is 212121 and tap on passive now you leave it on passive and you enter username mm, just going to add a simple one password you can enter one two three four anonymously and then display type you can enter you can enter anything like like this vd v v d oh, like this video and press ok it will take a minute as you can see like this video is the server name i've given so if once you press there it starts on to, to connect to the ftp so here you have to make sure that all the files you need you know where they are 
let me think i would like to steal maybe his whatsapp yes whatsapp notes maybe his images so i'll tap in the images an image which is in this director it will be sent it to your phone so as you can see these videos even these images are all there so i can copy them like so long press on this one maybe this one let me not copy them let me just take them both of them i'll paste them in the sd card i'll create a new file um no i'll not create any no i'll be creating this file i'll name it i'll name it uh, like this video so guys make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel i even put an, an emoji just to separate it so the, once the file has been created i shall locate the file remember sd card mm, where is the file okay file was created where is it now here we are so this is the file as you can see these are the files the, the images i'm copying from the ftp so as i paste here i want you to watch for something so they have come they came from the ftp to the internal storage like this video now i'm going to go to the other phone and i'm going to show you that those images are no longer there so let's jump to, to the so other the phone there internal storage member images here photos so as you can see the images are not there so i'll act i'll i will copy these images and put them back so on phone one i'll copy them copy and here i have to slide as you can see from up here the ftp is currently i just slide these are the images as you see them down here as you see them them down here on the act phone mm, the common phone so i'm going to paste them back i paste them on the hackers phone and as you can see they even come back here okay so that's how so let, let's try this video now let's try i can even play the video mm -hmm. i press tap on the video so guys leave a like subscribe and this is one of the main reason why you should not use connect to wi-fi is you don't know free wi-fi so they basically act as it's very easy to act as a middleman on those wi-fi's so the video is taking long to load so i'm going to go to another file um maybe zender yes zender no it does not have whatsapp installed so nothing i can steal there like images um what about movies what is here as on movies no it does not have anything there um let's try zender videos okay not interesting mm, apps well he has some few apps there as well um so guys make sure you like this video subscribe and leave the bell notification so i'm going to this stop the ftp client on the common phone so i go to root as you can see there is the root up here root up here so that's where i need to go to be able to stop it so we go to root ftp as you can see the ftp client is currently running um once i disconnect it here i cannot be able to go into another file because it has not loaded that file as you can see it has not loaded that file so but i can go back and i can check the files in which i opened earlier whereby it has saved it that's what's good about the es file explorer you can still take these files but you cannot copy them from the ftps you cannot cut them and or remove them you can only copy them to your device so i want to do that for now but that's it for this video guys so leave a like subscribe if you find this video useful please comment down below what you what you Found out when you are.